Oh, look at the time. And look at these beautiful watches, all designed in Hamilton. The founder and CEO of Lock and King, Ryan Moran, joins us with more on these beautiful pieces. And I love the story of how you got to this point. Yes, yeah. So I, I um, had a job in travel tourism and then during the height of COVID, I mean, that kind of bottomed out and lost that job. Um, this had been a hobby and at the back of my mind for a while. Uh, I'd been designing, sketching, learning about watches and uh, just the story you can tell around them. And then, yeah, there I was and kind of everything was ready. So I just turned it on, essentially. Very cool. So what goes into the design of a watch? Uh, a lot of it is, I mean, you take references from, from other designs. These are really also meant to be very classical. So it is looking at sort of the history of watches and what can you play with in terms of the design? What different elements can you play with? Whether it's the, the bezel or whether it's the, the dial itself. Um, in terms of the James, which is our first watch. Is that this one here? Yes, so okay. that's named after James Street here in Hamilton. And uh, a lot of the design actually is, is calling back and referencing the clock in the, the city center tower, which has been over James Street for over 100 years, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then there's also a lot of history around watches. So the James itself has a lot of history connected to railroad watches. Uh, the Ossington, which is our second watch named for Ossington Street in Toronto. Uh, there's a lot more of a Bauhaus kind of hip kind of feel okay. to it. So that's where a lot of that design comes from. You kind of look at the, in this case, if I'm naming them after streets, thinking about the character of the street and thinking about what I want to bring out in the watch then. And, and even the name of your company, Lock and King. So you're not, I, I thought, like, are you set up at Lock and King? But no, that's a, that's your neighborhood that you grew up in. As Essentially, a kid. yeah. So I grew up in Strathcona neighborhood in Hamilton I, and on Inchbury. And Lock and King was always a very central intersection. And then when thinking about how I wanted to root the brand in Hamilton and tell a very Hamilton story, especially if we we're going to be selling these you know, internationally, I uh, wanted to, to, yeah, have a, a Hamilton name. And that sounded cool very and cool. felt meaningful. Yes, so you, you're doing a lot of online things now, breaking into stores, and not just watches, but you're designing sunglasses as well? Yes, so we also have a, a line of sunglasses, okay. and we also have a line of, of stationery, of, of pens and journals as well. And this is interesting because, you know, when, when the smartwatches, when the fitness watches and smartphones came out, everybody's like, oh, watches are done. Yeah. They have made such a cool resurgence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, aside from the fact that you know they are you have a phone in your pocket so chances are you don't need a watch necessarily for time but they do become statement pieces they become accessories they become uh, I think if, if you think back to any time maybe you've been given a watch or you have bought a watch there's a story behind it there's yes. a story behind why you have that so that's that's one of the really big important things to me is that th there is this story behind them there's also never going to be a software update uh, they're basically <laughs> <That's right>. top <laughs> Brian who is a watch collector yeah. just laughed at that yes <laughs> So these are automatic mechanical watches, so they'll never need a new battery. Uh, so basically, they're, they're top of the line for the next 70 years. Uh, you're going to be fine. Yeah. Very cool. And, and they look to me like they're, they're, they're kind of gender neutral, right? Yes. Like anybody can wear these yeah. watches. So they are, yeah, explicitly designed to be gender neutral. Um, I, I remember when I was first learning how to design watches, watching a great just webinar on, on a couple huge watch industry leaders talking about how they don't understand why there are men's and women's watches. Yes. Um, so I really took that to heart and wanted to make sure that they were gender neutral. Um, the, the big thing will be size differential, and that's, that's where a okay. lot of people are, you know, make decisions about watches. Okay, we've run out of time, but it's just a fascinating sure. story of how you got here. And, and coming in, uh, thanks for coming in and, and sharing it. So uh, watch for him, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Moran of Lock and King. We'll get all the socials up on our website at chch.com.